hot on the heels of our very own Matt Stevens visiting the Bora Argonne kitchen at the start of the Tour de France, I'm now going to go into the Sky kitchen. Now, quite ironically, since the Bora one went up into the sky, this one is very firmly on the ground, which I'm quite happy about. Come on, let's go and take a look. Okay, so this is the kitchen area. It's more than just a kitchen, as you're going to see in just a few moments, but fairly standard stuff. All looks very neat and tidy. So we've got the ovens over here, two different types. And we've got a lot of different Sky blenders, some of them even Sky branded. Now, this one is just a blender. This one is a juicer, and this one also does hot things like soup as well. Uh, this is the washing up area, quite obviously. Now, this is probably where I would be based if I ever managed to get myself a job with Team Sky. Well, that's what they told me. Anyway, I'd probably do that, get access to the rides and stuff. I'll be able to see through me and do a girly laugh. Uh, over this side, you can see that they're cooking some rice. This is really popular amongst riders these days. Great post-ride and post-race snack. And interestingly, on here, you can see details of all of the stages as they go through. So actually, this is slightly outdated now. We're now on the first rest day and it only goes up to stage eight. But on those details, it gives exactly what the recovery strategy is for the riders. And that'll be based on exactly how long and how hard the stage was. And it might also be influenced by the weather that they're experiencing. Now, if you come just down here, and so it's not just the kitchen, it is actually also a dining area. So food will obviously be made in there. And just down here is where all the riders will eat. This is very important. We've already used this a bit earlier. This is the hand sanitizer, just to make sure no germs are spread at all throughout the kitchen. That's something that Bridge Cycling and Team Sky have been very hot on for a number of years. I know that firsthand. You'll like to see this bit over here. Now we see espresso machines in the buses all the time, but it's the first time I've seen one in a kitchen before, and in fact, in the dining area here. And this one is really special. Not only does it look very kind of shiny and glamorous, but I can tell you that Rocket Espresso Machine is one of the best. The riders are all really raving about this one all the time. I know a lot of riders have actually bought one and got one in their home as well. Also, the coffee grinder just over here, the Team Sky branded coffee. Now, Team Sky's kit has been pretty much the same since they first started in 2010, and they've got that blue line on the kit, which is represented here. So if you take a quick close look on the side of the coffee machine, it will tell you exactly what it's all about. Now, up here, we've got some blackboards, color of the smoothie, and exactly what goes into it. Smoothies are really a big part of Team Sky's nutrition strategy. It's a very easy way to get a lot of nutrients and really high quality calories. And I forgot to mention actually the Team Sky branded olive oil just here. That's actually produced by Dario Cioni, a former rider who now works as a sports director for the team. And then one of the coolest things are these. Pretty much priceless. It's the lions that you get when you're in the yellow jersey or win a stage of the Tour de France. Now, as you can imagine, the riders still get very hungry in between the meals as well. In fact, when I was a rider, I was pretty much constantly hungry. So rather than snacking on stuff that's not particularly healthy, as you can see here, cereals and then dried berries, nuts and seeds are very popular amongst the team riders. The team chef has just arrived back with fresh supplies for the riders on this rest day. This is Henrik Orr. He's actually in his third season with the team. He's learned a lot in that time and plenty of experience before he even came here. And handily, he's put all of that into one very convenient book. This one is called Velo Chef. So there we have it, the Team Sky, pretty brand new team kitchen. They only got it just this season and dining area here, which I think you'll agree looks pretty cool indeed. Now, if you'd like to see our team bus playlist where we look inside a lot of the World Tour buses, you can find that by clicking just up there. On the other hand, if you love your coffee as well, we've got one of the riders, Vincente Reigns, to go through the various coffees on offer in Mallorca at his own cafe, and you can find that by clicking just down there. Now, make sure you don't miss any of our future content. You can do that by subscribing to the channel. It's absolutely free, and all you've got to do is click anywhere around the kitchen or dining area.